fantastic. Morning! <laughs> wow, that's phenomenal. fantastic bike called the Bertus, which is made by Azor, because they make the back peaks as well. It's basically a budget version of the uh, cargo bike that, they, that Azor make. So what I really, really like about the Bertus is the price. It's cheaper even than the, the cheapest Fabo. So it's £1,399, um, which is really fantastic for price. I think it's 1320 if you go for the three gear version, but we never recommend three gears in London or basically the UK, because it's not really enough, especially with a cargo bike. Now, the Bertus. So the way they can shave some money off it is uh, they use slightly cheaper parts uh, than they do with their standard back feet. Um, so slightly cheaper pedals, slightly cheaper handlebars. Um, all of the steel bits are galvanised steel instead of stainless steel, so it does get a little bit rusty. Um, but it's still a fantastic bike. It's got the same lovely laid back feeling. Uh, I think it's rather steampunk. Yeah. I, I love the box. I think the box has got this fantastic sort of you know gothic, well, not gothic, sort of steampunk look to it. Um, and again, they save money on the transportation costs of this bike because this, this box comes as a flat pack and then you spend quite a lot of time bolting it all together uh, for the customer. Um, whereas with their standard back feet, it's glued and screwed and it comes as it is. So, it, so that's how they shave some money off it. Also, it comes, the basic version doesn't have the rack. We put the rack on um, and, uh, apart, and it's got cheaper lights. So it's got um, battery operated front and back lights, so no dynamo. I think you can get it as an option, but um, that's the standard thing. Otherwise, it's got exactly the same um, fantastic enclosed chain, the same uh, Shimano gear system. Um, and yeah, it's a great little bike. I'll show you on the inside. So you just open it up there. Comes as standard with one foot down seat uh, with the same seat belts. Um, we uh, put in accessories for a second seat needs to be a bit further forward though so we actually need to do that again unfortunately and then this is just we've put this in for one of our you know demo purposes it's it's to hold in a maxi cozy um baby frame which gives suspension to a maxi cozy seat which can be put in it feels the same as the as all back beats it's just cheaper and it only comes in black that's the other way they they save money on it okay. uh, you can have it any color you like as long as it's black in black. <laughs> uh, in black. And uh, yeah, all of the rain tents fit it, all of the accessories like the second seat, everything that they make for the back this, feet. This is the same size as the back feet's long? Yes, the yeah, same size as the back okay. yeah, absolutely, yeah. Take the uh, stabiliser. <laughs> yeah, sorry to harp on about it, but I've, I have realised that uh, you do really notice on a cargo bike not having a motor. I think cargo bikes should all come with them with the assist unless it's you know a bullet or something yeah it's more like Brompton cruising speeds now we're going slightly down downhill down the road and uh, it's coming into its own now it basically feels exactly like the back feet's long but slightly underpowered because it hasn't got the assist and I rode the back feet with the assist yeah, I'm sure it adds a bit onto the price, but I think it is worth it if you can afford it to go for the e assist. It makes such a difference. Yeah, it accelerates all right, just had to pull out in front of the cars there, and it gets going. Nice bike, and I'm sure it's a lot cheaper than the back feeds. So, here we have another Babo. And Bobo, as you might recall from part one, is uh, one of the sort of budget brands of quality cargo bikes. So this is the big, which is their standard trike. So the London Cycling Campaign 
and, and carry new bikes. We've got an arrangement where we look after this for them uh, and in return we can use it to show customers because we now sell our own bikes. So this, uh, if I just open up the, ah, oh, because they use it as a, as a freight machine, they don't use it to take children around. Um, they've got the freight cover and what I really like about the freight cover on the Babo is that they've got these wonderful um, tent holes here which, which hold it up like that, which means it doesn't collect water. So if we just take it off here, uh, you can see it's nice and roomy, nice roomy bike, uh, tricycle back there, it's got lots of room and normally you would have um, a child seats here, so two here and two here. So it's a lovely big trike, you can also fit two children there and a baby in a maxi cosy um, or one of the baby seats on one of the um, uh, bench seats. Fantastic bike, it's quite long, so a lot of trikes can be quite compact lengthways because they're long widthways. But this one is also quite long and the reason for that, if I just climb on it, the reason for this one being quite long is that when you steer it, the whole box moves. So they want to leave a lot of room between your knee yeah. and the edge of the box, which is fair enough. But yeah. um, on some of the trike models, uh, they are a bit more compact, so you have to be a bit more careful where your knee is and get the seat at exactly the right height for you. Um, but here you see it's got the steering dampeners, so it doesn't oversteer. We've got that there. It's a pretty basic bike. It's got protection on the side so that if you misjudge the width of something, yeah. uh, you've got a lot of protection around the wheels there. Bar at the front as well. Children can um, hold onto it or you can put toys down, hang on off it to keep them occupied. Whoa. So they've got a step here for children to stand on to get in. They do think about it nice and carefully and, and make it sort of family friendly. Uh, it comes in standard with a, with a wheel lock, a half chain case on it here. So the chain is semi protected and um, they come with racks sometimes, or sometimes you have to add them afterwards. But it's a really good budget uh, quality cargo bike, and so we're really pleased to be something about those. Oh, you got the, I mean, there's the gears. I actually don't know what brand that is. But again, they save money by having um, maybe not necessarily the top brand stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm now taking the uh, Babo Big on well, a little test ride. It does feel rather big. <laughs> okay, so the whole of the box, the, the, the box is on a pivot, which uh, takes a bit of time to get used to for the steering. So the box moves and the saddle sits, stays pretty much stationary or the rest of the bike. Um, it does exactly what it says on the tin. It's big, it's a big box, it's heavy, there's no e-assist, so you're not going to be the fastest guy in the hood. And um, it's wide, so as you can see, this is going to be interesting getting past the uh, Mr. Uber. And uh, there's a slight incline here, and it's hard work. I wouldn't want to ride from my house to um, East London with this. I'm, I mean, this is a very gentle incline. I'm having to push quite hard on the pedals at the moment. And then I suppose if you've got a lot of weight in here, it's going to be even harder. All right, let's try a U-turn. I mean, this bike is definitely crying out for uh, e-assist. Seven speed. Very upright riding position. The rain cover is really cool, and the box is, it's got a lot of space in there. Carry a, you know, anything. Uh, I think this would be limited to uh, if you had a bakery or something and you were doing uh, delivering bread to cafes, you wouldn't want to, you'd want to do a, uh, roughly a two mile two mile delivery loop you wouldn't want to go, you wouldn't want to go much further than that it's just uh it'd be a lot of work it's not one of my favorites this one if i'm honest but then again i've been spoiled by the gsd and that beautiful uh, bosch motor <laughs> so anything without e-assist now is a bit of a shock
struggle, but mama, you really made it. You the greatest, you my favorite for your struggle and all. Oh. So, this is another Nicola model. This is the family model, and I know I shouldn't be favorites, but it's one of my favorites. And the reason why I like this one, <coughs> excuse me, it's the same wonderful knee holer steering mechanism. So, if you look, uh, you can see that the wheels move independently of the box. <coughs> So that means that um, you're not having to shift the whole box with your weight around the corner. Uh, it's got a fantastic parking brake here, so that's not going anywhere while the children get in and out. Oh, it's lovely and compact. Look at it. It's not very big. <clears throat> it's got two seats, two sitting positions um, that it comes with. And then you've got a seat belt system here. It comes with uh, one set of seats, so you've got two places, and it comes with one seat belt and these only need to be used up, the, up to the age of about two but the really important thing, oh, it's got all these warnings is this wonderful lap belt and this should go around both of the children who sit here and then they don't need these unless they're really little and the reason for this is because you can quite easily take this out uh, unthread the seat belts and take that off but if you forget to put this on uh, uh, the, it can tip forward which is why they've got the lovely little lap belt there um, so I'm just going to put that back on there there we go so yeah, you can take this out. This has got some helmets because it's actually on fire with a really lovely lady and her family. Uh, and you've got down here, you've got other belts which can be used to fix in, uh, for example, a maxi cozy child seat or even a little dog. You can sort of get a dog strapped in place so it's not going to jump out. And I really like this one because it's actually really easy to ride. So even people who are not confident cyclists or people, in fact, even people who've never really learned to ride a bike can ride this fairly easily so um that's another reason why i really like it it comes in lots of different colors on the um shall, shall i show you the sort of the rain tent oh right okay <laughs> that's not a bug <laughs> brilliant <laughs> so the rain tents come in lots of different colors and so do the boxes i rather like the stylish gray i think that's a really nice color to have on the boxes there but the rain tents are rather nice as well and you can roll them up as i had had it rolled up before like that and i'll zip it up on this side and there you go you've got a lovely windscreen for them to to look through brilliant and um yeah you can you can take the whole thing off as well so if you i'll put this back the way it was i'll do that and so you then just fold it inwards and then just carefully carefully roll it up nice and neat if you're really get obsessed with doing things you to anyway and then you've got that there and you can quite easily just take these rods out and then you can put them in the bottom of the bike and roll all this up so it's nice and open yeah. in the summertime but it's quite useful as a sun shade actually as well Brilliant. so uh, again people tend to keep these things on the bike um, it's a great little machine mm -hmm. holders without the electric assist come with the Shimano Nexus hub gear system so this is the 8 speed version so it's got a half chain case and um, hub gears so it's sort of semi protected and they all come with the wonderful frame lock slash wheel lock which is another great little option for box bikes these come as standard which is good for locking it up outside the shops and also just really good as a secondary lock comes with mud guards um doesn't come with a rack as standard but you can add a back rack and then on the front you might be wondering what these are for this is for the lights so you can get the knee holder specific lights you can put so the the white light on the front and the red light facing backwards um or you can just use your your own sort of wraparound lights or whatever light fixing okay. on. you can get different dynamo systems and so on but to be honest the um just using normal battery lights is just probably better than using the
we're now on the on the Nahola <laughs> without the assist. Um, I love the colour of this, the blue hood. It's really nice. Um, this feels actually. I think this is one of the best three wheelers without the assist. Goes okay. It feels it feels a lot more compact than the uh, the previous one, the Babo car, uh, Big. With the hood on, you do get uh, a lot of uh, drag from the wind. So I have ridden one pre before without the hood on, and it's so much quicker. But then you don't have the uh, weather protection if it decides to rain, which it does quite often here. And then you'd have to rig up that, which I'm sure is going to take a bit of time. But yeah, very direct steering. Yeah, very good. A bit short for me at the moment, but there's a cable lock on the seat, so I couldn't go any higher. And uh, yeah, all in all, feels very well made, like a quality bike. And very silent as well. The transmission, the box doesn't rattle at all. Really good. Oh, I quite like it. I like this one a lot. Yeah, that's always the way. Bye. And you, bye. Out in Paris looking up at the stars. I'ma always think about you in my deepest regards. I let you mama. Okay, so this is the turn cargo load, cargo bike, and it's essentially a bit of a bit of a Frankenstein. It's two different bikes in one. So the front end of it is made by Turn, uh, and you'll remember the, the GSD cargo bike that we did. Um, and uh, the back of it is extra cycle. What's really fantastic about this long tail cargo bike is that it folds. So I will show you the folding mechanism, <laughs> and I, yeah. Um, it's, it is actually really, really easy. Yeah. It's just the same. This is all the same. You might recognize this from the GSD. This is a fantastically easy system. So uh, I'm just thinking which bit should we do first? I think let's do the middle bit first. So you, um, you pull the little red uh, button this way and then you pull that outwards. Give it a little bit of welly. Pull it outwards like that. Then you have to move this backwards in the same motion that you would with a Brompton bicycle, Brompton folding bike. So the, the wheel stays pointing forwards. You've got this little magnet here and a magnet here. So this folds backwards like that. And you clip it onto the magnet like that. Holds it in place. And then you can put the seat down. That makes it a little bit smaller there. Put the seat down like that. Let's put this in place like so go then just like before you do the same thing you pull this up push that back and this flops down and um this is the strap so you swivel that round and then you can fit it onto here so you just push it in again it's made for people slightly stronger than me uh there we go now that's all in place so this is actually really compact um yeah, you can fit that in a bike shed nice yeah. and easily. So again, to pop it all back, you just do everything in reverse. You swivel that back there. Pop this up like that. Click it in place. So easy to do. It's, even when you've got sort of, you know, smaller hands, it is, is actually easier. And then you undo the magnet. So let's give it a little, little push, push it and then pull it at the same time. Just take the magnet off like that. <laughs> Quite a strong magnet. <laughs> yeah, it needs to be. Um, but you just get the, the technique. Fold it back like that. And then pop this. Oops, just in place. There we go. And then obviously put the saddle up again. So again, you've got a lovely long tail cargo bike. It's got an excellent um, seat post here. Excellent quick adjust system. Because it's quick adjust, we've added these locks so that it's just not going to get nicked if you yeah. lock it up on the street for a few minutes or however long. Um, and it's got the derailleur gear system here. Again, 
you've got a uh, Shimano derailleur system. Um, yeah, it's actually got two, two chain rings on the front and then it's got um, eight on the back, so it's 16 in total. They didn't, for some reason they haven't put three on the front, even though the display has, has three, but there we go. Um, and it's got the fantastic disc brakes on it, which you do need on car road bikes really, uh, especially for going at speed. Once you put those two adapters on, you then get the uh, the same seats as for the other turn bicycle, which okay. is the Yep, <coughs> yep Maxi seats or the Yep Mini, and then you have the adapters for them. Two adapters on top of each other, put the seat in, you've got two seats in the back. So that's the theory. Lovely big pannier bags. Yeah. These are really huge, they're really fantastic. Wow. A little bit of rubbish in there. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here. To see. <laughs> nice bike. It's a nice bike. And the retail price new is uh, 1995 or 1990. So have the right seat height. So <laughs> now on the turn cargo node, straight away I've noticed that the uh, seating arrangement on this thing is quite compact. With my long legs, I feel like I'm quite close to the handlebars here which takes a bit of time to get, uh, takes a bit of getting used to. But yeah, this is like very, very light weight. It feels like I'm just on a normal bike, a regular, regular bike. It feels like I'm just riding a regular bike. It's very lightweight. Oh, trying to get killed by the bus, that one. So you, you end up sitting quite upright on this. Yeah, but it does feel well, it's got a bit more speed in it than the GSD for sure, just because it's lighter and the GSD is held back by the uh, restriction on the motor, so you can only get it up to on the flat. So I think the most I've done is 17, 17 miles an hour, something like that. So, yeah, it's quite limiting in a way. All in all, a nice bike. My other brother cool, but he's stuck in his way. He always wanna smoke and he walks with a cane. He could have died a couple years ago, but he remains the piece of the puzzle. It's no wonder why I pray. Now you can tell me many things about how life ain't looking up, but I hardly doubt that I will ever listen to you because my life is great. You can be whoever that you want. You got a dream chase. Uh, and this one, um, the prices you're, you're really looking at um, five, five and a half, six grand, and then uh, the flight case itself is about twelve. So it's, it's not cheap. However, it is an amazing piece. Again, the Urban Aero system, all the backs of the Urban Aero are the same, bolted together there. Um, this one, it actually looks incredibly intimidating, but it's quite easy to get it off the stand. You basically just put your knee there, push it forward, make sure I've unlocked it, give it a push forward, and it just comes up like that. And then to put it back on the stand, just put the brakes on, push this down with your foot, make sure both of the, the feet on either side are on the ground, let go of the brakes and just pull it back. It just goes back. We use this uh, wonderful machine, it's been used a lot in our community projects. So we run a mobile library of family cycling kit using this bike and we also use another cargo bike at the same time combination. And so as you can see when I open this up, it's got a nice roomy amount of space in here. Um, you can get versions of this which have a shelf in the middle and a sliding door. So you don't have to kind of lean over and lift things up. But we need one with more flexible space because a lot of things like in our mobile library of kit we have front seats, bikes, back seats, trailers, tagalongs, um, all sorts of things which are all sorts of odd shapes. It's quite light material so it doesn't add loads and loads of weight to the bike. So it's got hydraulic arms here so it's a bit careful when we pop that back down again. And then there we go. And then that's like that. The Urban Arrows come in a black frame or a white frame. 
we really like the white. I think that looks really snazzy. Potentially a safety angle to it as well, who knows. And of course it's got the normal um, disc brakes, hydraulic disc brakes. Um, comes with the mud guards, comes with amazing lights. So it's the same light system as the shorty. So if I just switch it on, yeah, switch it on here. I pop the lights on. Hopefully you saw them come on. Ooh, yeah. Uh, switch the light off again. And it's got the same uh, New Vinci continuous gear system. Mm -hmm. So it's just really, really easy to ride. And you've got the same, the same electric system. Bosch um, performance, performance line. They've got really fantastic um, power filters. I noticed you have front suspension as well on there. You do, you do. Yeah. You can uh, switch it on and off. So you do have the suspension there for the um, uh, for the weight of the weight of the bike, a bit okay. of a smoother ride. So you can switch that on and off there. And you've also got a steering uh, limiter here. So that's a limiter for when you steer. This massive long steering rod. Um, so this doesn't steer too far and also uh, underneath there is a big thick elastic band which stops it being too wobbly okay. um, so yeah it's a fantastic bike it, once it's off it stands it's quite low to the ground so you have to be a little bit careful of um, speed humps and, okay. and short ramps going into uh, into side roads and things like that is that because of the stand or <laughs> because everything's very low to the ground okay so it is quite easy Great bottom of the bike if you're not careful. It's got the same wonderful relaxed riding position, so it looks dead cool and also really relaxed and sort of comfortable. Awesome. So, so it's got the relaxing the most important thing. Yeah. The big bell. <laughs> the bell of destiny. That's <laughs> awesome. Forward <laughs> <laughs> to taking it for a spin. It's the keys. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Slightly daunted. <laughs> no, it, it is looks daunting, but it won't be. So I need that so, for the yeah. pen. That goes in there. So pop it in there. I think it goes the other way up. Just the other way up. Yeah. So pop it in. It's nice and straight. Certainly. And turn the key. There we go. That's it. Excellent. Perfect. Dun dun dun. Don't run me over. <laughs> Slowly getting used to it. <laughs> <sighs> well, I survived the behemoth. Um, that was interesting. Um, I was quite nervous actually setting off on it for some reason. I think it was the big box on the front. But uh, once I had a little initial wobble, I was okay. Um, flies along. Once you're going, it's lovely. Um, I don't know what it'd be like with a couple of hundred kilos in there, in the box. And um, doing a tight U turn to go up on the pavement, um, the weight sort of shifted a little bit to the left. I wasn't quite ready for it, so I had to get my foot off the left foot off the pedal quite quickly to, to keep myself from toppling over. But that's just, you know, things I'd get used to. But yeah, I wouldn't mind riding it for a couple of hours just to get used to it. But an interesting machine, nonetheless. And I liked it a lot. My other brother cool, but he's stuck in his way. He always wanna smoke and he walks with a cane. He could have died a couple years ago, but he remains. 